And in Shanksville, families of the heroes on board Flight 93 gathered to honor their loved ones. Vice President Mike Pence spoke at the ceremony about how he was a congressman at the time and likely one of the people whose lives were saved by the heroes on that flight. Christine Sorensen has the story. Oh, can you see by the dawn's early it was a day of patriotism when we remember the true patriots who sacrificed their lives by crashing Flight 93 in Shanksville to save those in our nation's capital, including Vice President Mike Pence, who was a congressman at the time. I will always believe that I and many others in our nation's capital were able to go home that day to hug our families because of the courage and selflessness of the heroes of Flight 93. So for me, it's personal. The families of those killed on Flight 93 gathered to hear their loved ones honored. William Joseph Cashman. The memorial has grown and changed over the past 16 years. Next year, it will be complete with a tower of voices. 40 wind chimes representing the voices of our heroes. Powerful, peaceful, eternal. The notes when played together, I'm told, will form a perfect harmony. Just as in their final moments, the men and women of Flight 93 work together to defend freedom. Pence went on to say how the fight that started with the passengers on Flight 93 continues today in the fight against ISIS and all terrorism, and that we all owe our gratitude to those who still sacrifice their lives for our country. And the home of the Christine Sorensen, KDKA-TV News.